Hi guys, today on Bikes and Lighted Taste Testing we'll be trialling some energy bars. I've got Raw Velo's Organic Energy Bar Chocolate Orange flavoured. And I've got a Cool Mint Chocolate Cliff Bar. Okay, so we've just had a look at the um, carbohydrate content of our en energy bars because that is the fuel that makes up energy bars and that's what we need to burn off throughout a ride, run, adventure, whatever we're doing. Um, this Raw Velo bar has uh, 24 grams worth in its 45 um, gram bar, which I think the cliff has more in it, isn't it? It does. Um, so the Cliff bar has 44 grams, but that is in a 68 gram bar. So you are getting more, but you're also getting a bigger bar. So we decided to kind of... Um, yeah, by the 100, I yeah. think it still works out as more. This is only 50. So if we took it as a percentage, it's 53.8% carbohydrate, which yours is more 60. Yeah, mine's 65 per the 100 yeah. grams. So you, you do appear to get more from a Cliff bar than... A raw velo bar, but if there's a big test, is what does it taste like? Yeah, I think before we open them, I think it's worth mentioning. You know, this is 45 grams. This is slightly smaller than the Cliff bar, um, but you know that's that that's possibly a benefit when you take it to decide to take this out with you. Yeah. Because it is, I the package, I can even fold down and show you just how big this thing is. It's perfect for. Um, back pocket or something it is it's tiny but it's packed full of what you need uh yeah it's a, a date and almond energy bar which uh, has ground almonds in it should be safe for me to eat yeah um this one obviously is a bit bigger and that's roughly about the size of the bar you're getting which yeah it's a bit thicker is, as well i mean that yeah, is it's quite um, thin Quite a thin bar to have compared to mine, which is a bit thicker. Um, I mean, ideal to chuck in a bag, maybe, or yeah, have if you're doing maybe an adventure and you're going on a pit stop, maybe. I don't know. Have you ever used these? Before I've used them cycling? before. Yeah. How um, they go in and out with pockets and things like that? They're okay. They do take a bit of space. You know, I am. I'm fairly new to raw velo products. Yeah, but I've just used Cliff. I like that. I know I like the taste of Cliff. The, those cool mint ones are, are my particular favourites. You know that any snack you're having, any juice snack is small because they can just pack them full of yeah. full of carbs. Yeah. So this one is uh, made up of oat chocolate and uh, peppermint flavour. So you know, nice bit of a yeah, we'll see. Open it. Which one do you want to try first? Should we go with the orange first and then the yeah, mint? Yeah, we'll go ah, with the orange yeah. first and then the mint. So on first opening them, you can see this is this raw velo bar is very sort of cake-like. It is very quite thick and stodgy, mm. whereas the Cliff bar is like well, it is, it's an oat cake one, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So it's a small cereally. So it's like more like a yeah. cereal bar you find, whereas this is more kind of this is like a one. This is like something you'd make at home. Um, as you can see, that I'm gonna try and break a bit off now. That is really thick. Do you want to give a go at that? Because that's hilarious. How much I just <laughs> bent that. I mean, ob obviously on a ride or a run, whatever, you're gonna be biting through these. Yeah, you're, no you're gonna bite through rather than run. <laughs> that just. <laughs> <laughs> Is it going back into shape? Um, Whereas, yeah. I, let me show you, <laughs> with, with the cliff, it doesn't help that it's quite warm in here. That You can just that break off apart. a little Whereas bit. this. Why don't you take a bite of that oh, bit and... Uh, I can't. Just about... It's, um... It feels stodgy. Yes. It feels stodgy. There's a nice hint of orange. Yeah, it's not too mm, It's not strong. too much. I, I think 
if I had this on a ride, I'd definitely save it for the later half where I'm really craving something to eat. Mm -hmm. Not saying that I'd only eat this if I was really hungry. But sometimes you need that stodge. When you want something that feels like proper food. Yeah. It's very thick. It Maybe is. you chew I mean... your... But I'm still chewing. Um... Yeah, because it, oh, it's dates, isn't it? Mm. It's, um, date and almond energy bar. Which the dates you can taste, but they're not... It's not too much. No, there's... I've had some before where... All you can taste is the dates. Do you know what? I don't think there's any... There's not much real flavour in there. I mean, that's actually a benefit, I'd say. Because you don't want anything too strong, no matter what it is, if you like it or not. It's definitely... It's, you know, it's like you said. One of the bars that you would want to eat at the point where you are craving food. Yeah. Rather than you're just taking on food because you need fuel. When you really just want to chew on something, this would be ideal. Because it is quite thick, it is quite stodgy. But I suppose that's because it is compact all down. Yes, yeah, it's... Nice subtle mm, taste, and not to overpower them, but it's... Full of fibre. Um, which is ev you know, evident from the amount of dates that's used in it. Um, would you choose to take that with you? Before we before we even try the cliff, would you take that? I might, because like you say, it is quite small. It's not overpowering on the taste, and it's ideal something that you, by the time you've kind of taken a bite out of it, you wrap it back up, put it back in your pocket, um, and you can just kind of gradually take it on. So, yeah, I will probably take it out. Um, it might be that I took it out if I didn't have any other bits, or if I wanted a mix of different types of things. Um, yeah, I would give it a go. I'd say, for some of the stuff, I don't usually eat food out on a ride. I will much rather rely on gels. Simply enough, I think, because I'm lucky enough to be able to eat gels without any issues. Mm -hmm. I think that one's fine. I quite like that. That's nice. Um, the only thing is, I mean, chocolate orange. I can't taste any chocolate in there. No, I can. I can taste the orange. I it's it not tastes. Too much. Do you want know it? Tastes like Quantro. It tastes like an orange spirit. Try a bit and tell me I'm right. I've still got bits. Do you Finish <laughs> and tell me I'm right. <laughs> you, you are. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the cliff bar now. Yep. Okay, so this one's. Um, this one is one that I've I bought personally for my use. Um, the Roar of Ello one is one we bought at the running show. Mm -hmm. um, so I already know that I like these. Um, they smell mint. Yes. Nice. They're great after. I prefer them sort of after a hard ride, and I need to get on with my day. Yeah. So instead of crashing on the sofa, this is have something to eat. Post ride breakfast, as it were. That's nice because it's not too stodgy. Mm. It's more crumbly. But, mm. but it's still got enough that you can juicy for like you're eating something. Rather than just having something that dissolves. And it's like we said earlier, it does break apart quite nice and easily, so you can break a bit off. Break it down into chunks. It's got a nice flavour to it. You can taste the chocolate, you can taste the mint, but the mint's not too overpowering. No. The texture kind of reminds me of when you get a really nice flapjack. The flapjack that you can eat and swallow rather than the flapjack that just get stuck to the roof of your mouth. Yeah, this one definitely feels more, as you say, real food. You know, it mm. is. It's, it's like nicely presented, whereas the Raw Velo one is just a brown log. I mean, okay, difference is, you know, the, the Cliff Bar's got this nice, I think it's sort of some sort of chocolate 
syrupy sprinkle across it. But I mean, presentation is is important, I think. Maybe not as important, well, yeah. but for some people it maybe is, you know, more casual athletes where, you know, it's just like, maybe it's a hike or something. Yeah, so that's what I was just thinking. If it's something like you're going out for a hike and you decide that you're going to sit down with um, a drink and you decide to grab one of these out your bag, then yeah. Whereas if you're cycling, the first thing you do is you grab it out your bag, take a bite, put it back in, you're better going to look at it. Yeah. Kind of scenario, I but... think also... That's the thing. If you're doing an in, if you're doing intense sport, you will probably choose something more like raw velo. Yeah. The packaging is very sleek, very quote pro, and you know, it's not very appealing to look at. It's just a brown squidge. <laughs> but it does. That's all it needs to be. It just yeah, needs to be it a doesn't, curve it sauce. It doesn't need to be fancy. Whereas the cliff bars. I, I don't know if Raw Velo sell to many retailers. This one I bought from this Cliff Bar I bought from the local bike shop. Yeah, because so they stop they stop Cliff and they stop Talk and stuff like that. And I think Cliff Bars are quite a well known energy brand anyway. Um, yeah, these these are American. I th um, Raw Velo is British. I believe they do sponsor the drop cycling team, who are the Brit British UCI team, so I assume they are British. Yeah, they're British. I think, trying to compare the two together, they are both aimed at different markets. Mm -hmm. I prefer the Cliff one. Not because of flavour, I think the texture's nicer. Yeah. But the Royal there's nothing wrong with the Royal Velo one, yeah. am I? Yeah, the, the Royal Velo is, it's like you say, it does its job. The cliff bar is just a bit more appealing in texture and things. Yeah, um, I think the problem with energy bars is that you can't stop a gel being a gel and you can't stop liquid or water being wherever it yeah. is. You can change flavour and what it contains, but in the end of the day, that's the that's, only thing. That's what it There's is. no texture to them. Energy bars, very different. And I think they have to choose whether they go for the simple thing, which will velo its yeah. dates, kapow. Cliff is a product, it's a, it's a snack, it's a, yeah, a part it's, of a meal. It is. Um, you know, but it's it's like you say, the, the raw velo is, there's nothing wrong with it. It's there, it does its job. Uh, the cliff bar is ideal. I reckon it's ideal to chuck in a bag. Go for a hike, take a flask of tea with you, sit down, have a cup of tea, energy bar, hike back kind of thing. Or for a long run, um, or if you're out doing a bit of an endurance thing, it's like you say they're ideal to chuck in your back pocket. I've, I mean, I have in the past gone out running and I've taken a flapjack or a sandwich or something with me, um, and I've broken that up. So a cliff bar would be the equivalent for me if I'm out yeah. for the majority of the day. I will say one thing, the, the raw velo, is vegan. Uh, I'm just gonna read this. Um, the Cliff Bar isn't the chocolate. I think it's traditional chocolate in there. Yeah. So I think we both would both go with the Cliff Bar. Yeah. But compared to others, we've compared. These two are quite different. But they're both. Our personal choices are the Cliff Bar. Yeah, I would. Um... Definitely go for that. Okay, so yeah, we've chosen Cliff as our choice out of the two. Um, I think that just about wraps up this week's taste test. It doesn't. We've still got half a bar in here. <laughs> if you enjoyed watching it, and um, then please do hit the subscribe button, and do feel free to check out a couple of our other videos as well. You can also press the bell icon to be notified of upcoming videos of which we post three a week. And there will be many more taste tests coming up, I'm sure. Yeah, if you want to check out our previous taste tests, click on Jess's face. And if you want to check out our previous drinks taste test, click on mine. <laughs>